Would you like to answer your users frequently asked questions in real time? Well, let me show you how with JotForm's AI agents. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if your users have a lot of frequently asked questions, you can use our AI agents to instantly reply to those questions. And the best thing about it is it's going to pull information from data that you give it. So let me show you how to train your agent. So for this example, I'm already in my AI agents landing page, but in the top left-hand corner, you can see we're in my agents. So if you're in my forms, just click here and you can jump over to my agents. I'm gonna utilize this very first one, Luna, my feedback assistant. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my agent. And in the top, we're currently in the build tab. I'm gonna jump over into our train tab. And here is where we can really make Luna fit our brand. Every single piece, all the tabs on the left-hand side is going to help us train our agent to take care of our user's questions. So here we can edit anything as needed. We can edit the chattiness of our agent. We want her to be minimalist or do we want her to be extremely chatty? We can also add in some very specific instructions. All four of these came stock with this agent. But of course, if we wanna add new instructions, we can do that as well. We can choose that default language and we can also change the tone of voice to be casual or professional if we didn't want friendly. But on the left-hand side, I'm gonna jump down to our knowledge base because this is where we're going to add in the bulk of the information that our AI agent is going to pull from. So like I mentioned, this agent is one that I've already been playing with. And we can see right down here, we have some FAQs from our hotel. Now, if we come up here to add a new knowledge source, there's four different ways that we can do that. The first one is going to be add information, just general knowledge to train your AI. If we click on this, we can copy and paste from different resources or just literally type in the knowledge that we want our AI to use. If I head back, we can pull from a link, which is what that very first one down at the bottom was. You can add in a link here. It's going to look at that website and you can choose up to 10 pages within that website for it to crawl, not just the one that you give it, which is great. And then we come back for a document. If we have a PDF, we can give it a file for it to look at as well. And then down at the bottom, we can give questions that we normally get asked and provide that answer. Now, if we go back, we can see that these two right here, these are part of that question and answer. Now, as I was previewing my agent and asking questions, there were some questions that it didn't know how to answer. And it lands here in this knowledge base. And before I answered the question, it had a little red icon here, as in, we don't know how to answer this question, let's fix that. So the first one was, how far is the hotel from the Golden Gate Bridge? It wasn't able to pull from that, so I, gave it that information. So the next time someone asks, it'll be able to give it that answer. And we're gonna test that here in a minute. Also, what's on the menu for tonight? Even though it crawled our menu page, it wasn't able to give that information as of right now. So I went ahead and gave it you know, the direct link to the menu. So some other things that I wanted to add in, this hotel allows you to get married there. And so there are some PDFs that go along with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, and it's going to be one at a time. So we can see we have the wedding flip book and we can see, describe what you want your agent to do with this information. So it says show to users when needed or analyze and learn from it. So I want it to analyze and learn from it. I don't want them to just give them the PDF. I want my agent to answer those questions that they have. So I am gonna go ahead and say analyze and learn from it. I'm gonna copy that because we're gonna add in a second one as well. Let's add in a new document. We'll bring in the wedding package. Same thing, analyze and learn from it. All right, we can see right down here, this one, it has summarized that PDF. We can see here the agent is extracting key information from the document. So the more information that you can give your AI agent, the more robust and better answers it's going to give your users. So let's go ahead and turn on preview and let's ask it some questions. So I wanna ask it how far it is from the Golden Gate Bridge, see if it's gonna pull from that knowledge. All right, 
perfect. It pulled from that knowledge because last time, again, it didn't have that answer. So I had to go in and put that in there. So now we know that the hotel is roughly four miles from the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, let's see. All right, looking to get married at a hotel. How many guests can I have? I remember seeing the 300 was the number that stuck out to me. Perfect, look at that. Ooh, and it's pulling information about the rooms. Oh, I love it. And it's giving me the different sizes, including how many guests for a seated dinner, which is perfect. And it really is as simple as that. Now, again, the more information that you can give your AI agent, like I mentioned, the better your AI agent is going to be able to assist your users. Now, if you have any questions, definitely drop it down below this video. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.